using the right microphone in the right situation can make a world of difference. You can go from sounding like this to sounding like this if you use the wrong microphone. This is a consumer grade camera. Located beneath the lens on the Canon Allura 65 are two stereo microphones. This kind of mic works okay when you're capturing ambient sound or someone is very close to the camera when talking, but when you're in a noisy situation, it can be very hard to hear the person talking. You will also pick up the noise from the tape moving and camera noise. The PD-170 has a built-in XLR breakout box. It rests at the front of the top handle. The included shotgun microphone is held up and out to the left by a rubber dampened holder. This is great because the mic is protected against many on-camera noises produced by the tape mechanism and other manipulation. This microphone works well to pick up a concert or an interview where there isn't much other noise. The nice thing about this camera is that it also has XLR inputs so you can hook up an external microphone. The DSR250 has a mic very similar to the PD-170. In addition to the front XLR input, the DSR250 comes with two XLR audio input connectors for connecting professional microphones in the back. The input can be selected from line, mic, or mic with 48 volt power supply. The difference between a line input and a mic input is that a line input is set up to receive a higher level signal, while a microphone is typically in need of amplified. Therefore, if you plug an XLR cord straight from the line output into the mic input, it will sound distorted. The 48 volts is phantom power. Some microphones take an external power source to power the microphone. When this is the case, you should use the 48 volt option. Using the plus 48 volt option on a microphone that has its own power can cause audio glitches. Phantom power is between 12 and 48 volts, typically 48 volts DC. It is applied to pins 2 and 3 of a condenser microphone's XLR connector to power the microphone's electronics. All condenser microphones require power to operate. In most professional microphones, this power is supplied through the microphone cable via phantom powering. Phantom power is supplied either by a standalone phantom power supply or by a mixer or camera that has built-in phantom power. The PZM, or pressure zone microphone, has an omnidirectional capsule that looks down at the surface. The PZM has a hemispherical pickup pattern, and so when it's used on surfaces like a floor, wall, ceiling, or tabletop, the noise vibrates off the table and into the microphone. They're designed to operate on any stiff, non-absorbent boundary. The 635 microphone is a famous little mic in broadcast television and radio history. These microphones are extremely rugged. They can withstand high humidity, temperature extremes, and corrosive effects, and yet provide excellent sound performance. The story goes that when they first came out, a salesman was traveling around the country using a new little 635A to drive nails into a board and then connecting it up to the amplifier input to demonstrate that its capabilities had not been diminished in the least. This microphone is an omnidirectional mic. An ECM microphone uses AA battery as power. It also is an omnidirectional microphone with a wide frequency range. This microphone should never be dropped or subjected to any excessive shock. It should also be turned on 10 minutes prior to using. This ensures stable performance of the microphone. The ME60 is especially suitable for reporting, film, and broadcast location applications and for picking up quiet signals in noisy or acoustically live environments as it discriminates against sound not emanating from the main pickup direction. An AKG is a microphone that is also a supercardioid microphone but in the handheld variety. To capture ambient noise or situations where sound is coming from many directions or where the mic position must remain fixed while the sound source is moving, you would use an omnidirectional mic. Although an omnidirectional mic is very useful in the right situation, picking up sound from every direction is not usually what you need. Cardioid means heart-shaped. It's the type of pickup pattern these type of mics use. Sound is picked up mostly from the front and to a lesser extent the sides as well. Emphasizing sound from the direction the mic is pointed whilst leaving some latitude for mic movement and ambient noise is what this kind of mic is good for. 
A supercardioid is an exaggerated version of the cardioid pattern. It is very directional and eliminates most sound from the sides and the rear. Due to the long, thin design of hypercardioids, these are often referred to as shotgun microphones. They're great for isolating the sound from a subject or direction where there is a lot of ambient noise, picking up sound from a subject at a distance. By removing the ambient noise, though, unidirectional sound can sometimes seem a little unnatural. It may help to add a discrete audio bed from another microphone. A bidirectional microphone uses a figure of eight pattern and picks up sound equally from two opposite directions. As you can imagine, there aren't a lot of situations which require this polar pattern, but one possibility would be an interview with two people facing each other with the mic between them. Hopefully these tips help you get great audio.